Hello, I am Chantel Blanchard here with Noiseography. I'm standing next to one of the very great of all veteran bands, Slow Coaster. Would you like to introduce yourselves individually? Hey, I'm Steve. I'm Brian. I'm Mike. So these guys are here in Halifax with us playing a very special show at the Marquee with Tupperware Remix Party, Dub Cartel, and Terror Pigeon? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Are you guys excited like for festival season really is my question. <laughs> we officially started last night at the Midsummer Madness Festival in New Brunswick. And it was like eight degrees, but people were still were like, you know, fire spinning and shirts off, dance a So it seemed like the time had come after the winter we had. Yeah, that was at a uh, Shakedown Ranch, right? Exactly, yep. So how was that driving from that last night to this today? Well, we drove, we drove through a lot of really bad weather last yeah. night to get there, so it finally all slowed down when we arrived, so we were pretty thankful about that because it was pretty messy when we were on our way there. We were expecting a lot of very upset people, but no, they were happy and frolicking, and then, yeah, it was easy today. Come to Halifax. We love it here. Well, yeah, especially with you guys. You're from Sydney, correct? Cape Breton. So how does it feel when you go play to like big cities and stuff being from such like, yeah, you're from cities, but we have small town cities. How does it feel to be in giant cities playing to these giant crowds? You have to give us an example. Yeah, is that how you talk about Halifax? Halifax in comparison to maybe like, I don't know, Ottawa or Toronto or something. Like how different is the crowd? Uh, you know, it can They're vary. They're taller. They're taller. Mostly. They're well fed. Yeah, They're well fed people. taller. People in the yes. cities, you know, people in the Maritimes party more. I can say that, honestly, what I've observed. People in big cities might be like, people in the big city. Hey, people I'm in the big, the big city, city have other things to do. do, do, do. Sit around and smoke weed all day and drink. I'm going to read the newspaper and have, have a latte. They have jobs uh. and shit. I don't, I don't know. I, Where are I mean, you going with this question anyways? Yeah, what are you trying to about? pigeonhole us into here? What was the here? question anyway? <laughs> if people are partying, everything's okay. It doesn't matter if it's a big city or a small town. If people are happy and if they've woken up sad and then later on in the night they're happy before they go back to their sadness, it's all good. Okay. Um, it's really fantastic to see how like you know we can bring our music, especially when we go to Alberta, bring our music from home, East Coast flavor out there, and a lot of people it really makes them happy because you know there's a lot of East Coasters all over the country. They're displaced, and we bring a little bit of that home kind of feeling to them, and they seem to like it, and we love doing it so. It's really nice and positive and beautiful. Well, I do hear that people really, people do love the East Coast. Like every time I talk to someone from elsewhere, they're like, no, we love coming to the East Coast. You guys are also like fun, loving. It's like, but what other place in the country is really fun to play besides the East Coast? What would your favorite spot be? We have a lot of fun in Alberta because we have so many East Coasters out that's there. That's where the East Coast so, lives now. That's kind of cheating, I guess. That's like, yeah. yeah. Everything but, you see around you, is made out of styrofoam. <laughs> There's actually no people in those houses. All right, so what do you guys have planned for this summer? Festivals? More, more festivaling. That's kind of the best time of year. We, like uh, cross Canada, going around every place you can sort of thing? Well, lots of the festivals on the East Coast. And then uh, we have a few new ones in Ontario that we're doing this year for the first time. And yeah, it's going to be great. We'll be back out in Alberta again. Having fun. Where all of us East Coasters have moved to, because that's what we do. Anyway, I would like to thank these guys for having like a blast with me. This was the most fun I've had in an interview yet. Thank you guys very much. Oh, wait, wait, I thought, started. yeah, have we started the interview yet? All right, so how excited are you guys for playing at Evolve? What year would this be for Evolve for you guys? This is year 14, I think. Thanks. We, we, we only missed one year. Oh, wow, really? Like, so true, true veterans. I mean, it's a huge jam festival in our backyards. I mean, there's no legitimate excuse besides, well, there are some legitimate excuses, obviously, for us not to be there. But uh, the Kraken has not been released. You know, nuclear war. Um, will I die in my sleep? Like things like that, right? That hasn't happened, so we're gonna go there as many as many years as it can go on. We'll go there for sure. I love that mentality because that's my mentality about evolve too. It's like I don't care what's happening in the world, so long as I'm alive, I'm out of evolve. Yeah, it's it's 
definitely one of the highlights of the year too. Like, it's a real gathering of all your friends, like your musical friends. You get to see all your friends play in their bands and 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 stuff like that. And then all the people from all over the East Coast that come to your shows, like your your regulars that are at your shows, they're all there together. It's pretty amazing yeah and it's just up the road so you get to have this humongous party two hours from home see i drive like four hours but that's okay it's plenty of sleep time in the car right exactly do you guys have any plans for any new albums in the future yeah we were just we were we were sitting next to a trash can today in tim hortons and pet kodiak and we were discussing the the possibility of starting to get some new songs together and uh we just put out an album didn't we yeah we have we have a pretty we fresh record a and uh it's called girls downtown Girls downtown. Spoke girls downtown mm -mm. and girls the things downtown. they do mm -mm. and maybe oh Steve got Wait sticky. A second. Wait. Steve what a kind of sticky I brought, stuff? I brought, I brought a record for you, but it's got gum well, or something on it. Is that I'll, cool? That's fine. There you it's go. got Are we gonna gum? You gotta hold it all Vanna White, right? Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> there, there we go. There, there's the latest. So what? When did when did this album come out? Uh, December. I'll say January. November. Fuck, we are so April. stupid. <laughs> it's, it's been out for a couple of months, but we're gonna we're gonna put a new single out in a couple of weeks. Yes. So when you hear it, please request it. Help us out. The original answer to that question, forget that even happened. All right, that whole trash can thing. You didn't hear anything? Yes, yeah, so we're putting out a new single. Uh, the new single is called "Put It On My Tab." It'll be out in uh, a week or so with that we'll fantastic so like will we hear you play this at Evolve um chances are yeah yeah that's a good idea yeah play it, play it. Oh. Quit journalism. What? No, this makes me want to do it even more. Okay. This is the best. It's <laughs> an answer of what, what I thought you were going to have. What are you going to wear to evolve? <laughs> yeah, what do you wear? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet because really? it's cold. It's I was going to, no, my original costume idea was I was going to wear a bando bra and like boy short underwear and write censored on it. So I was like, Ooh. girls gone wild, but censored. Nice. I like that. Girls gone. I'm pretty wild. Tim is. Girls gone. <laughs> <laughs> meh. <laughs> girls gone. I'm feeling all right. Mm -hmm. Girls gone to evolve. Girls Girls, girls going to evolve. Can I say say like so evolved, evolved, right? Evolved. You know, you know the festival. So we're gonna do like we're gonna do our, our big slow coaster show on the main stage, but we're also doing a very special secret surprise show. So it's on the schedule, so you can you know when it's gonna be and stuff. It's, it's but it's Mike and Steve Jamboree on the it's schedule called, or something. It's the Mike and Steve Jamboree, but it's gonna be a complete surprise for our friends and fans and stuff something we've never ever ever done before it's not an acoustic set i've been asked that a couple times now it's going to be completely different huge surprise check it out nice a good job noiseography you just got like the greatest tip for evolve now everybody has to go has to go don't tell your friends but send them this video right well, right it's not a secret tell everybody <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. This was so much fun. Thanks for hanging out with me before the show tonight. Hope you guys have a blast playing for us. Thank you, for us. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So, I am Chantel Blanchard with Noiseography here with Slow Coaster. You can check us out on YouTube and Facebook and all that jazz. Don't forget to check out Womp Halifax and Stomp Halifax on yeah. Facebook to find out everything that's happening in this lovely city, Halifax. I continuously update it so you're good. Don't worry. All right, have a great night, guys. Peace and love. Bye. So tell me a little bit about Shelburne. It's a, about it's, it's a fishing town. Right. <laughs> it's good. How is the fishing? Which store? The bait and tackle shop. 
Okay, yeah, no, I didn't. Did you have the guys nice? Yeah, I used to work there. Cigars. Do you like cigars, Brian? Uh, I used to buy really cheap cigars and go out clubbing. That's when you can smoke in the bars. Really? I used that? to love smoking in the bars. I would, I would do BTs. I remember like when that. you could smoke in Burger King. Oh my god. And they had these little like tinfoil ashtrays. Have, and you, have could you smoke ever smoked them. in the hospital? I, I was a hospital I, smoker. I think I pretty good. You're not that old as I started smoking, smoking when I was five. It's a hospital smoker. Where, where do you think the, all those little McDonald's ashtrays went? Singapore or something like that, where they still do shit like that. Oh yes. Or like Malaysia or hmm. some weird shit. Uh, smoking on a plane. People are making fucking houses out of those um, things. East Timor right now. Have you ever smoked on a plane? No. Sick Thank you. This motherfucker's smoking on this motherfucking plane. All right, this is Mike from Noiseography signing off.